How about them tops, son? All day, SEC boys. You're listening to the Red Out Podcast. Hello, everyone, and welcome into a Red Out short clip here. Uh, This is from our latest episode. Hope you enjoy. Most people watch the ODU game. If you didn't, I'm sorry. Um... I was one of those that didn't because I don't have the channel. So it's okay. was it on BN? <laughs> it was on mine. You could have watched it. I was at work. In my defense, okay. So I could not. I just followed you all's talk and the random. What happened there? Blah. And I'm like, God, this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> so I could have watched probably at work, but no. So thumbs are for you. No, um, I don't think that would have been very good during the service. Yeah, like during the service. Come on. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. No, um, no. Uh, yeah. So Western lost to ODU. Um, Dang it. Yeah, I know, right? Um, and just looking at the game, I mean, it's it's one of those that you just think, well, it's you know, it was like, well, we might. It's a possibility, you know. I mean, even ESPN had us at ninety six percent chance of losing. Dude, Matt's but. super positive on this game, Matt. Why are you super positive about the outcome? Yeah, man. I'll tell you. I'll tell you why, okay? I'll tell you what. <laughs> tell you what now. Listen to boys. Let me learn you something. <laughs> Listen, I know I know we lost the last two games, and the offense was, was hideous. But what I'm looking at is is the defense. I mean, the defense was so much, I thought, there, was a, there wasn't that many wide-open layups. There was a, a good amount of effort and all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, we had some faults in there. But I mean, we held, we held, we held Old Dominion to what 25, 26 in the first half, um, and they made a bucket at the end on some tip in or something like that. And against even against UAB, I thought, you know, we're just snake bit. We couldn't even couldn't even make a basket outside. Yeah, we probably took too many threes against uh, UAB, and probably didn't take enough against Old Dominion. Um, but the I mean, the, I'm okay with having an offense that's sputtering. The defense is what concerns me, and I feel like the defense has been a lot better and a lot more uh, tight uh, the last couple games. And I'm okay with it. I think they're going to be all right. Um, I mean, I'm not thrilled that we lost, but you go to Old Dominion, which is really, really tough place to play, and you lose by four, and you didn't even play that well offensively. I think I'm okay with it. What about you, Jared? Uh, Why are you sad? I mean, just for the fact that they still had plenty of opportunities in that game to actually <clears throat> actually win and get it done, which is really frustrating. I mean, in that last stretch, I mean, there was definitely some terrible officiating. I'm not going to deny that at all. But just the defensive effort is still very sketch at this point. So like what you were just talking about, Matt. But it's just been some of the same issues they've had still come back and haunt them at the worst possible time. But... The only good thing about it that, I mean, they did still play them really close. Both the times we played Old Dominion this year were really close, which I think is a really good thing. So that means if we play them like a third time in the conference tournament, I like our chances a whole lot better. I did, I think Stansberry said that uh, he hopes that if we play Old Dominion the third time that they'll be more ready. So it, it definitely sucks having the loss, but I don't. I still don't know how I feel about all this pod system. <laughs> Garbage. Okay, so <laughs> I, just heard, I just heard Ross like sigh deeply over here and like when Jared said, <laughs> I, I'm just was, chom- I'm chomping at the bit whenever you guys are ready. So. That's the uh, Jared okay. go. Okay, go okay. Go for it. Ross go. Damn it! Why do I always call him Jared? I don't know. It's it's Jared just, Ross, teacher Ross. I know it's a little confusing. I mean, yes. I, you are a lawyer, right, Jake? Yeah. Yeah, he is. He but, just he had to go pee. So go ahead. <laughs> All right. Uh, the, the really the last two games have just been giant missed opportunities, and at the end of the day, we eliminated ourselves from a conference title because a regular season title that is because we aren't focused. We don't have a killer instinct. Like I was, I I said it probably ten times during the group chat. We had them down to uh, up to up three. We couldn't get a key stop to extend the lead to save our lives the entire game. 
you know, we did hold them to 39% shooting, but this team, you know, we barely blown out anybody this season, maybe three teams. Like, there's just no killer instinct there. And, you know, I framed this whole season on whether, after the at-large was eliminated in early December, I started framing this whole season based on are we ready to play and are we reaching our potential before we head to Frisco? And right now, I mean, we, we had that five-game winning streak, and now we took three steps back. And, you know, we can say, well, the offense, you know, I was, you know, the offense, we played well within ourselves. You know, if we get some calls, maybe we win that game. But, but it still doesn't matter. We're still not running smooth. We're still turning the ball over. We're still being lazy with the basket. I mean, Bearden had his worst game since, I mean, he had his worst uh, ball handling game since taking over the starting point guard job. Bassey had five turnovers down low. I mean, it's just focus. Like, let's take that next step. Let's show we can kick a team's butt and move forward. And we haven't seen that this year. I mean, we still have three chances. I think if we go two and one during these last three games, you know, we'll still get the bye in the conference tournament. At the end of the day, that's all that matters. But I want some momentum heading into the tournament. And these last two losses just ruined it. It really did. And now you can just see it's like, well, you know, last night on – you know, this season's just been a big disappointment, and it's these last two games have kind of been a just a uh, complete picture of the season, in my opinion. Okay, see, that's, um, that's my thing. Is at this point, and I, I kind of said that, you know, I don't know if on Twitter or Discord, but like this team is kind of just this. I mean, I think at some point we have to realize that. I, I mean, in my opinion, I don't think there is a turn. I think this is what it is. And if they are having a good night and the basketball gods are on their side, they're going to win. If they're having a bad night, they're going to lose. And there just isn't anything deeper to this team. I just, I really don't think there is. Not, not at least this year. So I mean, is it? I mean, are we already just going to, you know, pencil out this say, season and say it's a disappointment? And no, because if they make the turn, are we holding out hope or what? That's, I mean, you know, that's always what have, I, That's what I'm debating in my head right now. Yeah, and I think that's what's going to like through a lot of fans' minds. I mean, there are obviously some people that are written involved. To me, it's I always have hope because you absolutely could win out. You could you could win the conference tournament and go to the dance and then. All is forgiven. Honestly, if they make the mm-hmm. tournament, all is forgiven because I, I, mean, I think we all said at the beginning of this season, it's the dance or bust. If you go dancing, then it's a successful season. If you don't, then it's not. Like, full yeah, stop. Yeah, but at least in my opinion, like, regardless of if they were to go on a tear and actually get in the tournament, like, it's still an underachievement because if you think of the, some of the stupid losses they had, they, that could be the difference of being, like, a 14 seed in the tournament or maybe as high as, like, a 10 or 11, maybe even, like, a 9 seed in the tournament if you don't have losses at home to Troy or on Indiana the road, State, Indiana State, Missouri, Missouri State. State. Like, they could have helped themselves in the tournament to where they could, like, get past just the first weekend if they were to be a little bit higher of a seed than whoever wins the Conference USA will be at this point. Like, I think the most recent tournament thing, the most recent bracket, I think Old Dominion was the representative, and they were only, like, a 13 seed. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I mean, maybe this is, like, being a little pedantic, but, like, I think there might be a difference between a disappointing season and an underachieving season. So, like, not meeting your full potential you know, which might be like a second weekend team uh, with the talent we have, I think might, it just in my, in my eyes, it's different than like writing it off as this sucked. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That for me, if we don't go to the tournament, this sucks. I was sad. Uh, now, I will say, if, if it's not going to happen, but if Devin's magical prediction of Bassey's second round, not, you know, him coming home, just not going to happen. Yes. Are you just going to, like, play church ambience behind the yes, preacher? Yes, no, 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 not because you're a preacher, but because Bassie is coming home. Oh, yeah. Lord! Lord. Okay. Yeah, uh, some Gregorian <laughs> chant in the background. No, but unless that happens, then, yes. yeah, this is like, I kind of just wash my hands. Like, okay, bridge season, let's, we wasted Bassie, but okay, let's do something. So, it, I guess my question for everybody, and we'll go around the room, is um, do you think... Metaphorically, the ship has struck an iceberg. Are you getting to the lifeboat, or are you just sitting there going, "Ah, eh, the band's still playing." <laughs> It'll get better. Yeah, is the uh, metaphorically speaking, is it time to jump ship? I got better. Jared, what do you got, buddy? Uh, well, as a musician, I'm still going to be chilling with the band regardless. But <laughs> like I mean, I'm, just, I'm not giving up yet. I mean, 
Have we we have witnessed Harper Mania. I mean, that was obviously a different era, different players, and everything. But still, I mean, anything is possible come March. I mean, I'm not ruling out anything. So we'll see. I'm not giving up yet. Uh, Ross, what are you doing? You jumping ship or you staying on the boat? You guys stay on the boat because I mean, what's I mean after March? What you know, six months? You know, with just baseball and softball, you got to you got to ride this one out to the end. I mean, I'm going to Frisco, so I got to, but. I mean, yeah, you're just, credentialed. You've got. I mean, it's just disappointing, and that, let's let's see something, guys. I mean, you know what? Like, if we if we go on that run, we win in Frisco, everything's a race, like we said. And then, you know, you can you can go through the the litany of excuses why it took all season to live up to your potential. But if you don't live up to your potential, then Jared and I are going to write very long pieces about what the hell happened. So. <laughs> you can count on that. It's, they're gonna come out. I got a four, coming. Yeah, they're, they're all gonna come out in fourteen parts each. Yes. And they're gonna be dissertations. It's gonna be great. Yes, uh, Matt, jump and ship, or you stay on the boat? Oh, dude, I mean, I'm never abandoning the tops. Um, dude, he's driving the boat. What are you talking yeah. about? I mean, <laughs> he's dude. the reason we hit the iceberg. <laughs> come on, yeah, man. I'm, I'm, I'm going to Frisco too. I'm going to Frisco too, and you know they're they're very frustrating, and y'all don't get me. Don't get me wrong when I'm saying um, that I felt like the last couple games were encouraging, even though we lost. I mean, uh, they're they're frustrating. Uh, the whole the whole season's been freaking frustrating. So, I mean, I'm not delusional, um, but I mean, like Jared said and, and y'all said, I mean, you never know, um, and, and they can just throw it together in three games. I mean. We've proven, finally, we proved that we could win a few games in a row, which w- was one of my issues, is God, I don't even know if they can win three games in a row. Yeah, right. Um, but, I mean, uh, you, you got to stick it out and, and believe in them. And, and, but, honestly, yeah, like Ross said, though, they don't have a lot of fire. Um, and, like Jake said, you know, they just kind of, if they have a good night, maybe they'll win. Um, they're, they're like that. But, man, they have so much talent. And if they would just get jacked up and go kill people, there wouldn't be any question that they could run through whoever. Yeah, I think That's earlier in the, if in the, earlier in the season they had actually shown, I mean, in more than like one instance, like, you know, I can't remember who it was. Like, 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 like Besides up, Wisconsin, we haven't played an impressive game against anybody. Yeah, I think when it comes That's to like fair. impressive, yeah, against somebody I think is the key term there, like, we just really haven't shown up in a way that makes you go, oh, crap, like, this team is dangerous. And can- I mean, that's what we were all saying after that game, right? Like, this team can beat anybody in the country. Well, if all the cards are all lined up, like, yeah. But otherwise, nah. <laughs> that's a yeah. Okay, so that's enough about the past, right? We do can have I have a quick aside to Matt? Yeah. Matt, why do you tell me you were going to the Frisco, man? I didn't even put your name on the uh, credential request. Dude, I, I said I was going. <laughs> I said in the chat. I didn't catch times, that. You said, oh, here's the thing. All right, well, I'll, I'll email him because I used the other one on my buddy who's going with me, but I'll see if I can get you one. So Yeah, appreciate it. That'd be cool. So, just, you know, right. Ross, do, do you, you know, hear from your wife all the time? Like, you never listen or you're a poor communicator? So I feel like that's what Matt's <laughs> trying to say right now. My wife oh, says that, but I don't know what she's saying. I never listen, so. <laughs> Jared's like, thank God I'm not married. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry, did I miss any discussion about the pod wars? <laughs> hey! I did it! Three, three seconds. seconds. So fast. It's getting worse. <sighs> <sighs> yes. No, we weren't really talking. We were just wrapping up Old Dominion and moving on to UAB, UAB. and then USM. So how excited are we to play UAB again? Dang it. Ugh. Well, they couldn't shoot any worse than they did when we played them in Diddle, so at least I hope not. <laughs> yeah, that's real yeah. nice, God. How how I mean, firmly do you feel like Stansberry, like with his cane or whatever he's using to not hurt his back, like smacks Jared Savage up back the face and is like, boy. I love my Jared Savage, but. Check it up. Oh, yeah. oh he's awful. <laughs> I know he is, but. Shooter, shoot. You know, he he does a lot of volunteer work, and he tries yeah. to make it up, um, feeding the homeless and stuff. Do you stuff, think he, so. he yells Kobe, or does he yell Yeet? Like, what, what generation is he in? <laughs> He's a Yeeter. He's definitely a Yeeter. He's definitely a Yeeter. <laughs> That's why he shot so many bricks, because he didn't yell Kobe. You didn't uh, yell Kobe. 
Savage, if you're listening, you can't yell yeet. It doesn't work. That's just for chucking stuff. Try curry. To curry. There you go. Steph. Steph! <laughs> or Joe Harris. <laughs> you should ask somebody on Steph. Yes. Is he like, saying... Oh, people... Uh, you know, is he saying staff? Is there staff in here? Yeah. We need to leave. Get that sanitizer out. Is he dating some girl named Stephanie? <laughs> hey, no. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So, uh, kind of go around the room just real quick. Uh, we'll start with you, Matt. What do you think our chances are? UAB. UAB, um, I like this against UAB. Um, I thought the first matchup, I predicted in my article, by the way, that we would lose, and I was right. But um, I think this game, we'll get it back together. Um, that was really an abysmal offensive performance. They did everything that they could to miss every shot. and Which takes a lot of talent. Yeah, yeah, it was impressive. <laughs> I mean, they did. I mean, you go, you go back and look at it. I mean, there was a lot of uh, anomalies of what happened and everything. But um, man, it, it it didn't take that much, and it doesn't take that much to beat UAB with offense. I think the issue is that they play great defense. Um, so it was a combination of we could not hit anything, and they play some pretty good defense, and it screwed us up. So I, I think if we have a decent offensive night, we would beat them. So I think we'll win. Okay, uh, Ross, what you got, bud? Uh, I mean, I'd give us a 55-45 uh, chance of losing. Uh, you know, going on the road, UAV's technically, uh, you know, still alive for the conference championship, yada, yada, yada. Uh, you know, and they've got momentum. So, I, you know, I'm not banking this as a win, but knowing this team, I, I think we, we go out and beat, the, I think we can sweep this week, honestly, if we're if we're focused. That's just a big if, but, you know, we've got the talent. I don't think Taven Levin's going to go off like he did last time against us. I don't think Bryant can have as good of a game, and I think we're going to play our game against them this time. Like, the game we saw against uh, Old Dominion, where we're driving to the lane, we're, we're forcing fouls. You know, if we cut down on turnovers, which we did great against them last time, and we're getting fouls. Yeah, I, I should. I don't see us having any problem with the Blazers on on Thursday if if we play our game, which is a big if. Uh, Jared, what's your take, buddy? Uh, well, I mean, like I said, I don't expect Western to shoot as bad as they did as they did in Diddle. But I mean, in road games, you never know what you're going to get, especially with a younger team like we have. I mean, it's just always a toss up. I think it's still going to be pretty close, but. No one, no one Western. They'll probably like be losing the majority of the game, and then have one of those like epic comebacks because they've been down like the whole game, and then like, oh wait, it's the last four minutes of the game. This is when I'm supposed to try now, and then possibly put a run together. So we'll see. Hopefully that happens. As long as they win, I don't really care. But they got to start winning these pie games, or else they're going to miss the first first round by. I, I agree. Um, I was. I tried to be the positive person. Uh, going into the pod saying, hey, we lost the last one, maybe it's a smack in the face, like a wake-up call or whatever. And apparently we needed two wake-up calls, so we're going for broke. Yeah, we snooze the first yes. alarm, and then the second, that's the wrong alarm we actually did. Yes, and this is the five minutes before you have to be to work alarm, so you got to get up now. I mean, I don't know if I, I, I honestly, like... It's kind of what I said earlier, and maybe this, maybe this apathy is terrible, I don't know, but I honestly think this team is what it is, like... Flip, flip whatever coin you want, and that's what's going to happen. I'm going to be honest. At least against UAB. US, USM, maybe not, but against UAB, we just lost to in their house. Like, yeah, just go ahead, flip the coin, pick. That's what will happen. Uh, Western is sitting at 53-46-ish, 46.5 on the uh, BPI or whatever it is. I can't yeah, read it right now. Yeah. 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 yeah, he can't, again, Devin can't see anything. Yes, he basketball power that. index. Um Yes, I had my eyes dilated today for an eye exam, which is awful. <sighs> so, quick, quick question I, I posed on Twitter today. About Where eye do you, exams? Do you guys think UAB is a decent <laughs> rivalry in the Conference USA wins? I mean, I think logically it's probably our number three rival in the conference just due to you know history with the old Sunbelt days and proximity. They're actually only four hours away. So I think, you know, Especially with us playing them in football the next two years, I think it could be fun. And I tell you what, Jared, you switching uh, you know the the name of the Tower Act Twitter account this week is 
he confused the crap out of me half the time. Yes, so. me too. Just yeah, so you know. even me too. But I mean, the fact that Dave with the Daily Dragon, he's just always he's been someone that I've known on Comfort USA Twitter for like ever, like ever since I joined Twitter. Like he, he's hilarious and he, he likes poking fun at us. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna dish it back. And I talked to Fletcher about it and I photoshopped like the blazer thing on the heap of garbage. So, oh, a little side note is that the actual picture of the dumpster pile was I typed in like Birmingham, Alabama, and like trash dump. Well, that actually is Birmingham. Alabama, you just can't really. That actually is in Birmingham. It's a little That's Easter egg. It is awesome. in Birmingham, but yes, yeah, it great. is pretty funny. But what you're saying, Ross, I completely agree because I've always never really liked UAB. Like they're another fan base that likes to talk a lot of garbage on the internet, especially when they lose to us. Like. And I'm still pissed from the time when we played them down in Birmingham in the conference tournament and got hosed by yes. that Chris Harrison docs call, that five-second yeah, call or whatever it was that cost us the tournament. So, yeah, I've never really liked 2AB. I think that was a five-second call. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we've not I, don't, I can't the remember. It was stupid whatever it was. the last four years. So that's just kind of fun, too. Uh, so I guess kind of looking ahead, Southern Miss, what do you all think? Must win. Must win. Well, yeah. Got to win that one. Any home game they have in this pod system, they got to win. Completely agree. Uh, and Western is looking pretty good at 69 and a half. So. Nice. And nice. 69 <laughs> and a half. Yeah, it's nice and a half. Six and, it's nice. It's nice, whatever it is. Um, Sammy, you got an opinion? You just want your head rubbed. Uh, so. He is talking to his little I would, I would servant. say. Uh, yes, my four-legged house. Surgeon. Southern Miss is is one of those teams that has been dominant at home this year, other than when they played us, and is kind of suspect on the road. So that's what that's why it's a must-win in my book. I mean, if we want to get the bye, you've got to take care of business in that one. So. Go get me a drink. Go get me a drink. No, I do think drink. they're a pretty balanced team. I was looking at some stats and stuff, and uh, they do have four guys, or, well, basically four guys in uh, double figures, and they've got. Three more guys that score at least six points a game. So it'll be interesting to see how we can deal with that much depth because we don't really have it, um, or at least we don't use it. I was about to say, is it that we don't have it or we don't use it? I don't think we have it anymore. I don't think we're going to use it. So Mm -hmm. that's kind of my take. I feel like we've probably got 10 guys that could play, and we really should throw them in there and see what happens because you're going to need them in the conference tournaments. If they don't have the experience, then you're just throwing out your seven or eight guys that you always play, and then you're going to get desperate, and they're not going to know what they're they're doing. So, completely agree, buddy. Mm-hmm. Um, well, let me do something real quick here. Like Jake said, we're self-produced. Um, yeah, Devin's just going to go quiet for like 35 seconds. Yes, because this is can awesome. I, can I give a, a, a Jared Ross teacher shout out to Boo after his play last game? Sure, yeah. I mean, oh, yeah, yeah. Jared he had broke a broken shoulder. He like, what, 10 minutes so. and, like, had five rebounds and a steal? I mean, if he can give us those kind of quality minutes off the bench, that that would be a huge step forward, especially Ooh. with, you know, the inconsistency of the other big men. Hope you enjoyed the clip from our latest episode. Subscribe for our weekly Red Out podcast. And always remember, go Tops.